Super Mayhem. Hello friends, Tim here again from Super Mayhem, speaking these words to you. Undoubtedly video games are trending nowadays, more so than ever. May it be a kindergarten toddler on his mum's phone, a teenage guy or girl on their console, or even a middle-aged man living in his parents' basement, smashing his computer. Everyone is crazy about video games. When one can buy such smart, thrilling and entertaining games at a click of a button, is it really a surprise that the fever of video games is going up and up? There is a wide array of video games on the market, ranging from in-depth RPGs that are seriously long and tedious, which lets players play for hours and hours, and then there are some shorter ones which are quite time-friendly, compelling and exciting. These are the bad boys we're going to focus on today. You know, those classic shorter games that just hit the spot without draining half your life away? Yeah, those ones. So sit back, relax, and smash that thumbs up button as we explore 5 excellent video games you can play in less than 6 hours. Portal is definitely a modern classic. Even though it is like 10 years old now, released on October 10th, 2007, it could be described as one of the best games existing in today's world when it comes to idiosyncratic and well-designed video games in the market. The premise of the game is exceedingly simple and ridiculously fun to master. Shoot some portals and teleport through some puzzles. The character which you have to delve yourself into whilst playing is named Shell, a prisoner who is confined in the Aperture Science Center. Lucky for us, GLaDOS, an abbreviation of Genetic Lifeform and Disk Operating System, gives you a portal gun for you to escape with and suggest you will enjoy some sweet, sweet cake upon your success. GLaDOS is the real star of this game in a sense, as it gives you a quirky and increasingly scary messages in a somehow amusing and endearing manner. The cake is a lie. You were just a guinea pig running through a maze. You can finish a round of this game in just around 2-4 to four hours if you're a bit of a noob, whereas pros can beat it in like 40 minutes. If you haven't played this game already, I'm sure it will have you hooked. Our next game on this list was released in 2012 on the Sony PlayStation, and is known as Journey. If you decide to play this game, you are in for a real treat. Journey is visually stunning, and has a beautiful cinematic soundtrack that will emotionally lull you into the digital world it creates. Climb over incredible sand dunes, explore deserts and fantastic landscapes as a mysterious robed figure who you control to make your path towards the mountain, which is the culmination of your journey. To add to the artistic and mesmerizing feeling of the game, at no point outside of the credits and title screen are any words shown or spoken. It's just you, the music, the camera and your sense of adventure. Journey was received with critical acclaim and commercial success to boot. In fact, it was listed in the UK's official PlayStation magazine as the 5th best PS3 game of all time, as well as winning multiple awards including Best Music by IGN and Best Downloadable Game from 1UP.com, GameSpy and Game Trailers. Besides being such an interesting and attractive game, you could play the whole thing within just two hours. There is a huge number of first-person shooting games floating around, and titles like Counter-Strike or Team Fortress 2 could have easily made this list because of their hop-in and hop-out nature and rounds lasting 20 or so minutes. However, here at number 3 we're going to focus on the game Superhot. This unique shooting game stands out from the rest because of its minimal level of art and puzzling ambience, which makes it super exciting. Released on numerous platforms back on the 25th of February 2016, this Kickstarter-funded project blasted onto the scene and made an instant impact, with reviewers considering the title to be an innovative take on the first-person shooter genre. The game's tagline, Time Moves Only When You Move, describes the gameplay, where action only continues when you move or fire your gun. This allows you to dodge bullets and plan your attack a little more strategically. Interestingly, a VR version was released a little later too. Pretty cool. It takes just around two hours to play through this game, but these two hours will be filled with adventure and thrill. Need a little bit more mystery in your life? Why not check out the 2016 video game developed by Variable State, named Virginia. This interesting little piece of amusement follows Anne Tava, an FBI special agent graduate, as she partakes in her first case, the disappearance of a missing boy in rural Virginia. The developers made the decision not to include dialogue within the game, 
which is a bit unusual for a mystery themed video game. Instead, Virginia conveys its story through the physical actions of its rather large cast of characters, which turned out rather well and certainly adds to the intrigue. Released on September 22nd, 2016 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Windows and OS X, the game was well received. Game Informer even awarded it a score of 9.25 out of 10 and said, Virginia is a taut thriller that strikes a fine balance between storytelling and interactivity in a way that narrative-driven first-person adventure games have not accomplished since their inception. High praise indeed. Even if you aren't running against the clock in a speedrunning tournament, this game takes around one and a half hours to complete. Okay, so maybe my channel is a little bit biased when it comes to Mario, but the first iteration of the Super Mario Bros on the NES is a seriously must-play staple for any short fun wanting gamer. When it was originally released in 1985, Super Mario Bros was considered a longer game due to its arguably stiff difficulty increase. But these days, even non-speedrunners can smash it down in around 10 to 30 minutes and still have a blast whilst impressing friends and foes alike. Miyamoto hit a sweet spot that until then wasn't filled. We all know and love the game and the subsequent series. Jump on some Goombas, watch out for those pesky cheap cheeps, and save Princess Toadstool from the evil Bowser. It's a better love story than Twilight. Whilst it is not as modern as all of the other games mentioned, when you're looking for an excellent short game to fill in some time, you can't go past the original side-scrolling masterpiece. So, this is a list of just five astounding video games in the market that you can play while spending less than six hours of your valuable time. Is there a game we missed? Of course there is, so let us know your favourites in the comments below. If you haven't already given these listed bad boys a whirl, however, then what have you got to lose? A few hours of your precious time? Come on, we both know you were going to waste it anyway. And that's it for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this short list of sweet games. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Smash that thumbs up button if you can, it really helps. And I'll catch you soon. A huge thanks to Jacob Clark for being our first Mayhem supporter. Without the likes of him, I wouldn't be running. If you want to join the team, please consider taking a look at our Patreon page in the description below. For your chance to get some exclusive behind the scenes looks at Super Mayhem, and even access to some sweet, sweet downloads.